This morning in Your Money, brought to you by Washington Trust, we're talking financial and estate planning for the blended and modern families out there. Here with some sage advice is Kimberly McCarthy from Washington Trust Management. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we mentioned blended families, modern families. When we use those terms, who are you talking about? So families come in so many different configurations now, but yeah. we're talking a, a lot about families where maybe parents have, are bringing children from other marriages together, single parent families, grandparents who might be taking kid, care of their grandchildren for a long term, yeah. anybody who doesn't fit into sort of the so-called standard family dynamic. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. And the, how we plan financially uh, and in terms of our estate may be a bit different or or challenging for these types of families to navigate. Yeah, and I would say that every financial or wealth plan should be unique. It's about okay. your specific goals, so it's not the same as anyone else's. However, when you layer on top of that a complicated family dynamic, you need to take extra care to make sure the documents and plans you put in place actually carry out things that make sense for your family. Absolutely, and, and things may change. There may be certain scenarios that kind of shake things up a bit right. if you will could Absolutely. you could you describe some of those scenarios maybe refresh our memory if maybe we have gone through something like this recently absolutely and this is for blended families and modern families but all families mm -hmm. really so whenever you have a major life event um, marriages deaths births adoptions things like that you should think about looking at your estate plan but for the blended and modern family it's especially important for example if there's a divorce and a remarriage, yeah. you definitely need to look at your documents because a lot of them will name your former spouse, um, beneficiary designations, life insurance, mm -hmm. health care proxies. You want to make sure that your new spouse is the person that you're leaving your assets to and that's going to make decisions for you when you're in the hospital, things like that. You mentioned those life decisions <coughs> and I'm reminded around this time of year, it's not just the health insurance or wills. It goes far beyond that. There could be more documentation. There could be more um, hiccups or potential hiccups in the future if you don't take care of these things now. Absolutely. I mean, so many people, we see this all the time, have so much of their wealth in retirement plans and IRAs. You can leave those assets to anyone. And, really? <clears throat> yes. And the um, uh, whatever you put in your beneficiary designation, that governs. You can leave those assets, like I say, to anyone. So if you left your former spouse on your IRA and never changed it, that's who gets those assets regardless of your remarriage. Wow, really interesting there. And as you mentioned before, this isn't some one size fits all. Everyone's different, everyone's family is different and unique. And that being said, seeing someone like you or the folks at Washington Trust, it's really important because we want to know how to do this and how to do this right. Absolutely. What we do is have a real conversation with people to identify their personal goals. It's not about numbers. It's not about taxes. It's about what you want for your family and your legacy. And then we help you put that into sort of the legalese and the financial terms mm -hmm. to get you from where you are now to where you want to be. I like that you use the term legacy because it makes me think into the future. A yeah. lot of people like to take care of the now and mm -hmm. that's fine. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right. But I think you also need to think of that step ahead, the what ifs, the potentials for the future. And that's what it is when we're talking about financial plan, you've, you've hit it on the head. It's how do you want to live now? How do you want to get to and through retirement? And what do you want to leave for your legacy, for your children or for yourself? What you Definitely. want people to think about you when you're gone. A lot to consider, Kimberly. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We went over a lot. This segment was brought to you by Washington Trust. If you would like even more information, you can go to roadshow.com.